now let us discuss about set difference operation in relational algebra set difference operator is called as binary operator binary means two in order to perform set difference operation we must require two relations or two tables so that's why set difference operator is called as binary operator whereas select operator and project operator is called as unary operator why because in order to perform select operation and project operation we require only one relation or one table uh, set difference operator is denoted by minus symbol so set difference means it simply performs difference operation subtraction operation between the two sets mathematically let we have two sets let the first set is a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 let the second set is uh, b is equal to 3 comma 4 comma 5 so a minus b is equal to so what is the result 1 comma 2 comma 3 minus 3 comma 4 comma 5 means if we do the subtraction we will get 1 comma 2 so here a minus b means the set of elements which are in a but not in b but not in b if you consider 1 2 1 2 elements are in a but they are not in b whereas if you consider 3 3 is in a as well as 3 is in b so that's why we should not consider b okay so this is about uh, set difference operator so set difference operator gives a set of rows which are in the first relation but they are not in second relation so it will return a set of rows which are in the first relation and uh, not in second relation so let us perform the here before performing the set difference operation we have to check two conditions if those two conditions are satisfied then only we can perform the set difference operation the first point is both relations must have same number of columns both relations must contain same number of columns if you consider student uh, relation here we have two columns rule number and name likewise if we consider employee relation here also we have two columns employee number and employee name so first relation and second relation contains same number of columns two columns so first condition is satisfied and the second condition is every column every column must have same domain every column must have same domain in both relations in both relations so if we consider first column in student relation what is the first column domain uh, 70 71 72 73 it is integer value if we consider the first column in the second relation 71 73 74 75 here also we are having some integer values okay so here the first column of both the relations have the same domain that is integer likewise if you consider the uh, second column of the first relation name a b c d some characters here also if you consider the second column of the uh, second relation name b d e f so here also the second column of both the relations have the same domain such as character so both the conditions are satisfied so now we can perform the uh, difference operation so if we perform the difference operation then what is the result that we will get here is uh, here uh, we have rule number and name as the attribute here we have employee number and name as the attribute here we have rule number here we have employee number so those two attributes are different in that occasion we have to consider the first relation attributes the first relation attributes are rule number and name so what is difference operation it will detents a set of rows which are in a but not in b which are in the first relation but not in the second relation 70a is in the first relation but it is not present in the second relation so we can take 70a next to 71b it is in the first relation as well as second relation so we should not consider 71b next to 72c so this is in the first relation but not in the second relation so we can take this one 72c next to 73d 73d is present in the first relation as well as second relation so we should not consider 73d 
okay so this is difference operation here the difference operation is producing what two tuples so two rows so this is about uh, set difference operation in relational algebra if you want uh, we can write some query also we can write query also so pi name of what is the first relation student minus pi name of employee so pi means it performs operations on that column name column pi name of student means it will gives this one a b c d as the result whereas pi name of employee means it will gives this column as the result simply subtraction operation will be performed so if you do the subtraction then what is the result it will gives uh, the tuples uh, here we will get only the names it will gives the names which are in the student but not in the employee so if you consider a a is in the student but not in the employee so we can take a but b b is present in both the b is present in the employee also so we should not consider b next to c c is not present in the uh, second one so we can take the c next to d d so d is present here so we should not uh, consider d okay so a c are nothing but the student names which are present in the student relation but they are not present in the employee relation so this is about set difference operation in relational algebra so this is about set difference operation in relational algebra